down. To be with the team news and Aston Villa are without the injured Berkir Bjornesson so it's Connor Horahan who will fill that holding midfield role here tonight Dean Smith expects his team to have plenty of the ball and Horahan can pick a pass Jack Grealish is playing this number eight role and has been told not to drop too deep and not to get frustrated if the ball doesn't come his way 4-3-3 is Dean Smith's formation of choice and he welcomes Albert Adoma back into it tonight after his recovery from a knee injury well, this Bolton Wanderers team cost absolutely nothing. Phil Parkinson referred to a back three after playing with a three-man defence against Hull last week. Andrew Taylor returns at left-back. It's been a problem position for Bolton to fill in recent years. Jason Lowe is back from his ban and partners Joe Williams, who's been one of their standout performers this season. Erhun Tuma is back in the West Midlands, where he made a name for himself with Walsall. He used to be called the non-league Messi, and he could cause Villa problems if they don't get close to him. So the fans still filing in, plenty of them still to come into Villa Park tonight under the lights, Aston Villa against Bolton Wanderers. Andy Hinchliffe, what are you expecting? Well, I think the fans could play a, a hugely uh, important part tonight. There aren't many Bolton fans in the stadium, but what they'll try and do, Bolton, the first 15, 20 minutes for straight Villa, turn the home fans against the Villa side. So you've got to kind of use the, the home fans to your advantage. It could be a long evening for, for Bolton, but the team they picked looks set up to try and frustrate Villa. Yeah, it looks like Bolton will come here and they will take a point from the off James Chester catching up with Jack Hobbs reminder of Villa's illustrious pass down the uh, the walls there the trophy cabinet of the European Cup and the old Lee trophy as well there's a cold night in the West Midlands as Aston Villa and Bolton Wanderers walk out onto the Villa Park pitch here Led out by tonight's referee, Ollie Langford. The halt ends, the 12th man ready to go. And this is Aston Villa's final home game before Remembrance Day. They will pay tribute to those who've lost their lives serving their country. Both Villa and Bolton forming a guard of honour to welcome ex-members of the armed services led out by 92-year-old George Hitchman. And every single member of these ex-service personnel are Aston Villa fans. Is part of the 2018 Remembrance Sunday commemorations and the centenary of the end of the First World War. A wonderful touch from two wonderful football clubs as Aston Villa and Bolton Wanderers teams make their way to the halfway line. Another unpredictable, dramatic championship weekend starts here. It's Aston Villa against Bolton Wanderers next. at Villa Park, Aston Villa against Bolton Wanderers tonight to get the championship weekend underway. A reminder that uh, Conor Harahan is starting in that holding midfield role for Aston Villa tonight. As for Bolton, five changes to the team, which was beaten by Hull last week, and a change of system back to the back four as well. Villa looking to respond after back-to-back -back defeats away from home but Dean Smith's reign started here in his home office with a victory against Swansea City and he's looking for them to pick themselves up again on home territory tonight Let's go! Let's go! 
Well, Aston Villa and Bolton gather to remember those who've lost their lives in conflicts around the world, serving their country. Villa and Bolton will also remember Leicester City owner Vichai Shrivahadaprabha, his assistants Nusara Suknamai and Kavporn Pumper.